It, it's a little difficult, but I think Void needs farm here. Like, yeah. if he's if you're looking at a face of Void, they're on the Void. I think they're going aggro, but oh, we'll wow. see. They run straight into always want to fly. Magic Missile to start things off with a Shrapnel and Chilling Touch. There's no way Shadow Demon survives this. We'll self-disrupt and keep himself alive for two and a half seconds, but it's a foregone conclusion. As PR get first blood, and I, I, are you right? Magic I don't stick know, X1 has magic stick, like, yeah, the regen rune is uh, just a very fruitful pickup for the Zeus, like, that is just one of the most insane things he can get for the two-minute spawn, and, yeah, he's able to get a lot of damage out. Now, will the phase shift come for the light strike array? Doesn't even need it, they turn around. Yeah, and that's the turn around onto a low now, so they'll bring him down, the stick charges from Treasure Cat, keeps him alive and healthy, John him on the run out. As Treasure Cat needs one more hit from Always Wanna Fly, which he'll actually get, but J4 and Jonam, they're still looking for more. Chilling Touch, there's still one more hit with the Magic Missile to bring down Silent. Tries to blink across, nope. Why isn't he Phantom Striking out? If Not Always so Wanna sure. Fly just goes in retreat, they can, he can just get out of that, but I guess they wanted to reset the lane, get the kill on Jotam, but it's not coming. The oh Dragon's god! Misses. The right clicks he needs too, he won't get either. J4 dueling it out with Always Wanna Fly, now the orb comes through, Always Wanna Fly taking massive damage. J4 will be going down in the corner to the Lina, but they're winning this fight oh, wow. heavily. Oh, dance down again! It's a double death for the Lina. PR are now five and three, and that's with a void going down in the mirror. Can they get in there though? Creep wave. Okay, always on a fly. Just walk straight through the trees. Disruption start off, and this will set up perfectly for Yoki to get the call along with the Lina spells. It shouldn't be too too difficult. Although, Aloha although, although, Aloha <laughs> starts to the tower. The shrapnel double. This feeds from Aloha Dance. What is happening? <laughs> Just going in. A4. Is he the target? Looks like he is. I've got fishing up onto the high ground. With a soul catcher, this should be easy as pie. Very nice find. Oh, Kronovic. Uh, can, can I kill him though? Magic missile? Okay, yeah, they've got enough damage. Axmo. There's no mana and always want to fly, so there's no turnaround and. Looks like the Faceless Void did, well, does work out. Oh, well, he's going to go into Dichirahi. We'll get the call down as the Sniper has to turn himself around, but a headshot proc onto Yoki means that the right clicks aren't really coming in. The two supports have arrived, though. And it should be a pretty simple takedown with the Culling Blade finishing it off. But yeah, this, this is a question that I always have for an axe. When is that time when you say, okay, screw it? Mm -hmm. My well, lane. Silent just, even with the Dream Coil, still diving pretty hard. And now outside of tower range, waits for the Coil, gets the Stifling Dagger, but oh, can't man. close the distance. He will go down. Jot him. He's been playing so damn well. Just leading the board, Sniper not doing too bad. He has uh, been stopped a little bit up on this top lane, and wh where's he heading now? Dichira with the Treads, Aquila, and most likely Mask of Manus will walk into Always Wanna Fly, but disrupted into nothing. Always Wanna Fly is caught up, Shit Creek without a paddle. He tries to take down J4 with the Poison Stack and Urn. Is it gonna be enough? Yeah. Will it He's take gone. him over? Yep. He's dead. So, I mean, that's post-mortem. Uh, doesn't get the AoE gold bounty, doesn't get the uh, experience, but he does get something out of it in exchange for it. level is the puck. Wow. One level yeah. behind the Faceless Void. That's that's trialing puck for you. I mean, they've left him alone quite a bit, but Jotam's, every time he moves, he is able to get something oh that provinces his experience. Mid lane, Axmo. disruption into Life Strike Ray. The TPs are coming in. The savior, not going to happen. Jotam might lose his life now and give up that streak. Oh, Light Strike, uh, Laguna Blade even into Culling Blade. The combo we were mentioning in the draft, the Shisha Cat places a four-man coil, but he's losing HP at such a drastic rate. Jaunts up into the trees and Empire come out of that with two kills with no return as bot lane! Did you rise getting 1v1 by Silent, chasing him down, the TP is forthcoming and no bash, no stun, no nothing from Silent to stop it. None. So I guess that's the main reason why he didn't go for that Vanguard, obviously. Mm -hmm. 1100 gold down the, well not down the drain, but slowing down yeah. that blink. But well, with that logic, why go the Ring of Health? That's I 875 down before your blink dagger timing. And I don't know if it really helped him that much. Like, he definitely was taking a lot of damage. We saw him half health multiple times in the lane, but uh, we're going to see a swap in. Yeah, Axmo will finish this off with the help of Dichira, but then the Laguna Blade onto Jotam. Axmo has his Chrono, and we'll have to pop it here straight onto Aloha Downs. The Ice Blast coming in will clip Yoki, but Cheshire Cat jaunted straight into that. And now, oh, no. Yoki's in trouble. He didn't turn around, he was waiting for a re-engage or something from the rest of his yeah, team. He thought he had the Blink Dagger, for, and uh, it's going to be the Void Stone for him. But even still, like, it's a heavy team as Empire is just dying left and right. Always want to fly again! Walks into no man's land, Jotam waiting for him. Best case scenario for that is pretty sad. Like, I don't know, pull the creep wave or something. Swap back know. resolution, Light Strike Ray will hold down Jotam and Lightning Bolts with the Arc Lightning should finish him off. Okay, Thunder God's Wrath as well. Did you run out? Great. Caught in by Yoki, and that's a good turnaround. Definitely not an intentional bait from the Shadow Demon, but in the end, it, it all worked out.
Certainly did. And, uh, yeah, right now they have, I mean, as far as the sniper, PA now with, you know, closing it on 6K, sniper on 6K, but it's, it's that Midas on Zeus. Oh, J4. He's got the Midas recipe and wanted to finish it off, but Yoki says no. Mm. Good day, sir, but Dream Call in on the low hat will find a cons uh, consolation kill. Didn't catch the axe, though, unfortunately. Yeah, they wanted a lot more out of that. Just getting the one-for-one one for all those TP rotations, and Lena is a support here. It's just... It's a, a uh, Jotam coming in. There is a nice disruption on Axmo and a swap back. It's going to be a resolution, maybe getting chrono. Yoki jumps in, but the chrono's already happened. Assassinate takes down resolution and, and the dominating streak with it. As always, one of flies running from Jotam on that vengeful spirit. That was a super long Ice range. blast. Oh, man, that would have been nice. But it's going to just go straight down the midline and Shadow Demon jukes to the side here. The spot gets scouted out. Yep, they see him with the Thunder God's Wrath. Cheshire Cat still smoked. He's going to have to jump himself away. They've got vision. They know he's there. Life Strike Raid not going to land. He'll jaunt across and still get Laguna Blade. It turns back to fight. Always want to fly. But this is surely Cheshire Cat's death as he face shifts one more hit. But taken out by the Arc Lightning. While up at top, Yoki has found the Vengeful Spirit. Calls up. A couple more hits. And here's the dunk coming in. That's very unfortunate. Big Zeus, level 13, that's as high as the Sniper, and it's going to be some good golden experience for J4. How did they know he was there? Was it just a vortex? Did, did he jump from lane into trees? Because that's really I, unfortunate for resolution. I honestly didn't catch it, but I oh. pre presume maybe he TP'd down to the bottom lane. Yes, TP's up the bottom lane. So he TP'd, and then he shift cued the blink. Look they saw the direction that it must have gone, and they took him out. They take down Son and Mid always on a flight, needs one more hit and they will find it. Suddenly, wow, kills. PR at this mid lane. The Chrono starting things off from Axmo onto the PA. He did it with gold. For PR, it's a ton of things. You get the uh, mighty stacks. Oh. Yoki jumps in. The aggressive positioning from Jonathan, though, will allow them to take down Resolution before he can get too much done. Yoki now bashed up by Axmo. With the shrapnel charges. I don't know. Yoki just cannot run from this. Did you rise a BKB? There are five people. Surrounding this axe and did you raw? Did you raw? There's a tower hitting you. Stick charges will keep him alive for now as he TPs himself back to base. I can see where they kind of thought that team fight could have gone their way, but in reality, it was just so. That fact is in. Oh, top lane. They're gonna. Nope, nope. They don't find the void as he jumps away from the LSA. Chrono back down onto always want to fly. There's a call in the back lines onto Did you Pops his BKB, turns to fight. And he'll bring down a lower announce with a couple more right clicks. They kill off the Shadow Demon up on top, and Yoki caught now in the Dream Coil. Berserk is called to mitigate as much damage as he can, but there's just too much output here from PR. Just uh, finding the right openings there. They thought they had it, and if they combo that stun and get the Light Strike as they needed to, then perfectly fine, but the Time Walk comes out too quickly, and uh, Resolution actually sniped an Invis. They don't have Chrono anymore, so that is going to be a free walk away for him. Taking the rune, but the bigger kill is on mid. What's PA doing up here while their team's dying up top? PA? Yep. Oh, always want to fly. And Interesting I... positioning. Obviously, he's just going for the suicide ward, but. <laughs> he got it down. Got... I don't know. I feel like it's, uh, it's uh, not the time of the game to be doing that, but oh well. Silence. Caught in the dream call. Ice Blast will not hit. He pops his BKB, but is that, is that a 10 second charge? Yeah, 10 second duration, got it. Well, but Axmo with the Shadow Blade. Uh, looks like this is going to be a pretty easy solo kill. The only problem is Mask of Menace was already used. So although he sees resolution, uh, he's not going to have that damage. And now he has to worry about the follow through, if, if Yoki's going to be in the right position for it. So at least he'll be lurking. Maybe they'll send an Ice Blast that way first. But he gets him on the edge. Ooh, Yoki's here and does get the Berserker's Call at max range, it looks like. Did you raw? Will plink away at the Zeus. Ice Blast. Ice Blast, yeah. Who's going to hit, though? Takes out Resolution. Su oh, man. Suicides himself before the hit. As Yoki sent up into the air with the Yules from Cheshire Cat. And they'll get a secondary kill here, definitely. But that, that suicide from Resolution, spot on perfect. Mm -hmm. So, it works out. Uh, just really, Axbo getting the flank, getting the surprise attack. They do not know. They, I mean, if they did know about it, they obviously didn't. Uh, scouted out. The only thing is really Thunder God's Wrath that would show. And uh, we actually already see Axmo making the play down bottom. Oh man, with the Ice Blast as well. Resolution not long for this world. Suicide's on cooldown. Oh. Can't get it off in time. He'll get the Disrupt down onto Void. Life Strike Ray lands and Laguna Blade finishes him off. So, actually, no. Silent finishes him off with a crit. It looks like Laguna Blade would actually take him out.
Ooh, there's that Ags, talking about it a long while back. He did, okay, they're top, let's go push bottom. They want to wait for the next rush cycle for that kind of a play. So for now, they're just going for the fight out in the open field, and Yoki seems to be their new target. Yep. Cheshire Cat finds him with a Dream Call, has to Yule him here, I think, to send him up into the end to cancel that TP, but Dichira is here with the damage. They'll have, uh, they'll have enough time, surely. Axe will actually chronos his own team to get the last hit onto Axe. Faceless Void says, hey guys, that's my kill. Hello, Hanan's taken out by Dichira, the sniper. Sniping away as Thundergold Rad level 3 will get a kill onto the Vengeful Spirits. Kappa. Craig <laughs> like, like Kronos. Kronos is his own guy. <laughs> kill secured. And then Shadow Blades away. Fly, sure, can disrupt. Oh, what have we got? We've got Axe Jump again, swap back. And Silent is now the one in the middle of four. We'll take down Jonathan with the Thunder Gods round. Resolution finds that kill, but now he's caught in the Chrono. Disruption, great job there onto Lena. We'll save her life for now. Silent getting right clicked down by Dichira as Axmo exits with a kill and on no the buyback. Lena. Oh boy, no buyback on the PA, you're right. It's all down to Resolution off. now. But fighting against Dichira, he's literally standing his ground. Right clicking away, no buyback on Zeus. That looks like Empire might just be down and out. Yeah, there's, there's, without the PA, they can't do anything. They'll try one last hurrah with Yoki, going in, wants one kill. Headshot, Boy, headshot. Just for a moral headshot. victory, but no, it's not going to happen. It's like a headshot. Be... MKB proc, dead? Okay, well, I guess I'm not doing anything here. And that's the Rex, that's the GG, and that is game one in the books. So, game one of this two-game series, going the way of PR. Great play by them all round. Their draft worked solidly, but it was just execution, execution, execution. Empire had a few slip-ups here and there, I want to say, always want to fly, you know, along with the Lohan Ants, their, their roaming sd Lena combo just never got going. Yeah, and they weren't really roaming in the, in the sense that PR forced them to stay active down on the bottom lane. The aggro tri-lane stance uh, essentially said, okay, well now...